Eighteen used batteries, rhythm, long windowsill, healing slightly in the warmth before the peaks of a mountain range which crowned the window. Blue fluted snow fields and plunging cliffs caress bright tin canisters. Annapurna, goddess of harvest, the mother who feeds, sits quiet before me. Not even the black chuffs spilling in flight. Over firewood piled on roofs make a noise. Tangled wool tightens to yarn, turn bright on a world. I savor the silence, which is spun from the fibers of other silences. The muteness of watermelons, deserted skies, footpaths, goat bells, and wooden plows. Still, it sits secret in my mind as a twisted skein of ghosts. And thank you. And the second poem called Sky Blue Duvet. Jack. Two in the morning, with fluttering thin air heart, I walk dark tunnels beneath prayer flags, past darkened shrines through a moon white village. Cattle cough quietly in yards behind houses. Finger-worn script curves around a serried rank of prayer wheels. Peaks jostle in the sky above. Nilgiri, Tillicho, Gangsarkan and Dalgiri come close like old men leaning over a well. Spindrift rises like steam over bright ice fields. Every detail edge clear. My borrowed sky blue duvet jacket, an expedition remnant caresses my throat and my five day beard in a scratched embrace. Have other wearers cut steps in the snows above me, crystals tumbling into the void below? Sweated along fixed ropes and struggled on faces I can now see but never reach. Have air bottles kneaded my coat's billowing back? In the death zone? Have others stood on peaks and seen the curve of the earth and felt a last embrace of oxygen?